guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can add end cards to your video. If you don't know what end cards, they're basically pop-ups that are actually interactive on I believe both PC and um, mobile. So they're basically a mix of both annotations and cards. So they're actually really helpful because you can display your channel and people can subscribe directly by just pressing on that button. This feature used to be only available to big YouTubers with a lot of subscribers. So people like Casey Neistat had them, like Unbox Therapy had it. And YouTube just recently has released it to the public. So basically any channel can use it now. So this is more just letting you guys know because you guys can solve it yourself and do it yourself. But I'm just going to show you right now, just in case you ever wanted to know. If you guys enjoy the rest of the video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Let's just get into it. So the process of doing this only takes honestly like 30 seconds. So what you want to do first is go onto your channel, press video manager. Select the video you want to add the end screen on, so you know your latest video, and you want to press edit. And then there's going to be a tab that says end screens and annotations, so let me just do that right now. There's some things you need to know. So the first thing is when you go on end screens and annotations, they'll only allow you to do it for the last 20 seconds. For annotations, you're allowed to do it for like the entire video if you wanted to. But here, you're limited to do it for the last 20 seconds only. You can shorten it, but it has to be in the last 20 seconds for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe they don't want to clutter the video or something or they done like some research or I, I don't know or maybe just because it's called the end screen and it's the last 20 seconds of a video I'm not sure but you cannot add it before the last 20 seconds of the video so here end screen elements can be placed within the last 20 seconds of video and at least 20 seconds after its beginning one more thing you have to know is you cannot add annotations and end screens at the same time if you have an annotation you have to remove them before you can add an end screen same thing applies uh, for the other way if you have end screens, you can add an annotation until you remove the end screens. I'm not sure why annotations and cards work and end screens and cards work, but annotations and end screens don't work together. Maybe because it clutters the screen or it just has some overlay issue, but that's what I've found out. So once you're actually in the video manager here, you can press preview to see how it looked like if you were the viewer. So here, if you hover over, you can press subscribe. You can select a playlist. Um, you can click on a video. This actually really helps. If a viewer sees a helpful video or playlist, they're actually inclined to click on it just because it's hovering and it, look, it looks really cool. You can also actually use templates. So like the layout of how the videos appear and stuff. So you can have two videos, two videos in a playlist, two videos in a, a subscribe or something like that. If I go to a video where I haven't added end screen, I'll actually show you how you can like add them and stuff. So let's just go to a video I haven't done one. So like this one probably haven't done end screen here. So you can actually choose um, three options for a video. You can choose a playlist, the best video for viewers or a recommended video. So based off their search uh, history, like their video history, um, just the videos they're interested in. So let me just go on preview here. And let me press add video. And here it says most recent upload, best review or, or a video or playlist, like a specified one, not just a random one. So most recent upload, you can just add it here and you can resize it. So you can make it smaller and bigger. You can add a subscribe button. It'll always appear in the top left, I believe, but you can move it around obviously, but I like it in the top left. You can also add a link if you really wanted to or promote another channel, maybe your second channel. That's actually really smart. I might actually do that. So, but that's not actually my uh, second channel. It's just the name of it. So I have to actually get the URL, if you know what I mean. Uh, and here we're gonna promote a link. So it has to be approved website. I'm not sure if I have one, so I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna go into video playlist and choose the best for my viewer. So allows you to select a video for your channel to best suit your viewer with their interest and you know what they watch and their recommended videos and stuff like that. So that's smart. And then you just wanna press save once you're done. Yeah, so that's the end of the video. Hopefully it did help out. If you guys enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. My name's Steven and I'll see you in the next one.